Hey, what's going on guys? Frozen Phoenix Games here. Welcome back to some more uh, Minecraft Vault Hunters Sky Vaults. This is episode two of our playthrough here. Uh, thanks everyone for being here. Uh, if you are watching on YouTube, well, this is the only place you can watch YouTube. Uh, again, welcome to my new channel. Uh, and uh, thanks for being here. Uh, we're gonna do a little work here. Uh, uh, make sure you uh, subscribe here. Hit, turn on the notification so you know when I upload videos. And you know uh, to come watch, like, comment, subscribe. But yeah, we're gonna do a little work here to start uh, base. Not too much. Um, I think in future when I do end up doing, depending on what it is, when I end up doing lots of base work, I'm going to uh, I think I'm going to time lapse it down. That way you're not just sitting me watching me build out over the void uh, for for hours on end because that's not necessarily fun. Um, certainly necessary, but not like it's a, a blast to watch. Uh, but uh, other than kind of just doing a little a little work here on the base, I mean don't have a lot to do here I mean obviously we're waiting on the food to grow but that's a whole thing in and of itself um, and we'll uh, go ahead and start expanding our world Let's see. all right we're doing this the old-fashioned way. Be in between. resources, you know. Using slabs. We love using slabs. Slabs. Slabs are nice for, you know, extending your limited resource a long ways. But I wouldn't choose to ever build with slabs like this in a a normal world. Let's see, getting night out. Sapling down. Go ahead. This. More slabs now. And we'll be good. Uh, 
let's see. Is there enough light everywhere? Like even in this dark spot, what is it? Light nine eight. Eight's as dark as it gets. And that should be fine. Seven is the mob spawning requirement, so we're good in that aspect at least. All right. Let's see, put that away. I'm trying to think here. There, what else would I bring into a vault with me? I feel like I should just collect wood for building there in the vault. I don't feel like I need to bring the rest of the food with me. I'd like to have as much inventory space as possible. The only other thing I could do is turn my iron into something more useful. Get me suited up here. I think that'll do. And then I think we'll run a vault for the episode. I'm going to smelt a couple of this down. All right. Got a nice little base. Got me a raw vault crystal. All right, save the sapling. All right, let's hop right on in here. Need the game lag, of course. Of course. A scavenger vault. Vault XP reduction. Yes, I'm aware. I'm technically a higher level than the vault. Um, let's see. Living chest, zombie hide, blood vial. We are headed southward. Okay, there's no wood in here. This Castell. Um, okay. A little bit interesting vault room, I suppose. I don't know if those flowers are going to be useful for anything. These are certainly... Might be the most useful thing we find in today's vault. remorse about sprinting around through. So my guess is then, given the nature of this vault, it's expected that we uh, craft vaults the normal way. That being said, that means I need to mine an absolute ton of Excuse me, excuse me. In cranking nineties on you, Jesus. Don't get some bright idea that you're better than me. Okay, pick up the soul shard. 
other than that, I saw this cave over here. I think that might be it for the area. Let's see what we got down here. Obviously, there's a lot of cobblestone I could collect. Maybe I should just end up mining a whole bunch of this. I finally get a chipped vault rock. No, I didn't. But I'm like, I'm not getting any. I haven't gotten any chipped vault rock out of these. Based my inventory lapis right now. I have so much of it. Like, do I need to get fortune first? Oh no, there's chipped ball rock. There we go. But I still don't even think fortune works on this. Okay, so it is possible. And there's a lot of it too. I, I do think, given the situation, we need to mine as much of it as possible. So I'm getting got enough for three crystals. Almost. I don't want to mine every piece. I think iron and diamonds and emerald are what I should focus on. Maybe. And, you know, maybe I'll keep, like, one stack of the cobblestone, but I probably don't need to keep all stacks of it. That much vault cobblestone is probably too much for me to keep in my inventory, but, like... Like now I don't need to keep saplings. I'm good on, on sapling. Probably keep the coal too. I think coal is going to be rather important. I know there's more down here somewhere. I think there's... Maybe this back up and out. Let's just back up and out. Okay. Let's go ahead on to the next room. We were headed southward. That's totally right. I forgot all about doing the scav. Got oh, one zombie hide. Hello. 
paper, take the dirt, that. I don't necessarily need the torches either, so when it comes down to it in the end, I can probably just get rid of those. Living chests, I need a zombie brain. Like that. Okay, that was pretty easy and simple. Let's see, I mean, I'm good to turn in those two things. Now I just need blood vials. But. I need to get rid of all my hot bars. I'd love that ornate chest, but it's not worth me struggling it. I gotta choose my battles here. Choose my battles. I just need a bunch of coins. And I can get the F out of here. God, that didn't. saw that those were coins there. I'd love to be able to do that.
Unfortunately, all it takes is one spawn that's a skeleton with a bow and arrow, and I'm effed. So, I'm gonna have to pass up on those. Go find coins somewhere else. Head another room, why not? Oh, that's great. No, I didn't get anything close. Didn't get the blood vial I needed. What? Where are all these guys coming from? these chests because they were easy. This, I don't need that. Oh, go piss on yourself. Jeez. I remember to heal myself. I'm not used to having this much mana. I must have changed heal in update 5. Plus is only doing one heart. That's a pretty big difference, in my opinion. Heal is always two hearts at level one. Yeah, 
Okay, so I gotta head east to get back. Normal chests. Yep, spawn more mobs, please. Like to get all the coins here if I can get my blood vials. One blood vial down. Like the silver, please. Cracked pearl, I need a blood vial. Don't really need the string right this second. I got my blood vials. Got my bronze. Let's get out of here. Get out of the vault, baby. That's a successful vault. Uh, successful number one. Let's go ahead here and we'll, uh, I know where the collection point is, though it's not very nice. I know where it is in this room at least. So we'll just go ahead, jump right up there. And we'll just avoid everything else. So this way I have my free inventory slot. Oh, man. That's a good run, ladies and gentlemen. Good run, good run. We'll gladly take that. I'm level three. Okay. I mean, I feel like I just upgrade heal a lot. I feel like that's most worth it. All right, so now it's 14 mana, nine seconds, and I heal four hit points, two hearts. I see good stuff in there. Let's see, I now have two Fortune 1 books, and I need another chest. That is not how chests work. All right, now we have food. And holy shit. Look at all this. What did I get here? Leggings, chest plate. Oh, we. A lemon. 
a lot of stuff that I am currently unable to use. Netherite. All right, let's roll each one of these here. See what we get. Four armor, you know, whatever. Nothing, nothing fancy, nothing crazy, but I mean, four armor is better than what I'm wearing. So, I mean, I can wear that. Come on, give me something good here. Five armor, plus two health, better than what I'm wearing, easy. And six armor, ten mana, three health, easily better than what I'm wearing. So, you know, that's pretty good, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's easily better than what I'm wearing. I think for now, I'm just gonna put on both of those. I'm going to keep this one for a little while until I get maybe run a couple vaults without it and see how I do. But I think next time we'll work progress towards doing an actual vault crystal. Expanding the base. I think something that we could end up needing right away and you know is uh if we get enough blocks, I mean, we're going to need like hundreds of blocks. I think if we get enough, we could do a mob grinder. I think that would be worth our time uh, for not only XP, but because now I have diamonds and we have, I think we have a couple books. We do have a couple books. Get enchants of the basic variety. What is a uh, at the underscore vault? I forget what the word for it is. One of these things down here. Where is it? A vault for the artisan station. Requires an anvil of some kind, a netherite, chromatic steel. So we're we're plenty far away from being able to make that. But uh, I mean, I think we're off to a pretty good start here. Um, next time we'll need to do some a lot of expansion. I think I think we need to get a proper farm going. We have potatoes to hold us over for a little while, but proper farm for sure needs to happen. Um. And you know what? I don't know. Well, I suppose in some of the... We'll need to see when we can. We shall... We're going to need to um, grab lava out of the vault so we can make a cobblestone generator. That would be good. But yeah. We're going to call the episode here just over a half hour. Thanks everyone for joining us here today. Appreciate it again. Uh, make sure you, uh, go ahead and, uh, like, comment, subscribe, and, uh, yeah, tell me what you think so far. Give me any tips, tricks. I would greatly appreciate it. And, uh, yeah, thanks so much. See you all again soon. Goodbye, everyone.